It is a good looking group. We're going to prepare our hearts for taking of the Lord's Supper tonight. I have a few words for meditation. All men should honor the Son even as they as they honor the Father. The Father loves the Son as we who partake in the Lord's Supper do. We love the Son, and that's why we're going to partake of the Lord's table tonight. We are thankful God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. He has made a new and living way which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. Amen. For when we were without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved by his life. Amen. He sits at the Father's right hand, reigning. Brothers and sisters, he lives. Amen. As we take of the bread, which represents the body that was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. As we take of the cup representing his blood, we should remember Jesus saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. Let us take it in remembrance of him. That's why we're taking it, in remembrance of him. And let us pray. This week, Heavenly Father, we have looked at your lamb. We thank you for your love that came through this Passover lamb, Heavenly Father that spotless substitute for us, that sacrificial love of Christ on the cross. We are thankful for the application of his atoning blood to our hearts. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 